When the Balboa Theater opened on the southwest corner of 4th and E Streets, it was, as the San Diego History Center describes it, a well-designed combination stage and screen house from the era of palatial theaters. 1,500 seats, a stage the size of most Broadway stages, and something quite unique. Live waterfalls on either side of the proscenium arch with a distinctly Western landscape. I feel like the Balboa is San Diego's jewel. Abigail Buell is with San Diego Theaters. The nonprofit runs both the Balboa and downtown's Civic Theater. It is the epicenter of all kinds of arts, performing arts within San Diego. The epicenter, no longer a spring chicken, needs plenty of attention theatrical TLC. And we are constantly doing upkeep and little things have changed, but you know, in preparation for its 100 years, we are working on some new carpet, which we'll see all over the building um, that was custom made and designed by us. Carpet bearing capital B's, surrounded by a rope design, a nod to San Diego's maritime heritage. The exterior has a fresh look, a new tritone paint scheme and more. Pole banners, awnings, things to make it feel a little bit more refreshed, um, digital screens, things that will allow us to, you know, promote what's going on inside the theater to the public and everyone around. And so really excited about all of that. That excitement reaches a fever pitch beginning tonight. A gala celebration kicks off a weekend of special events. Playwright, pianist, and actor Hershey Felder will present a tribute to an era of music known collectively as the Great American Songbook. Then, tomorrow night at 7, a screening of the 1929 silent movie The Flying Fleet, with accompaniment on the Balboa's amazing organ. More on that in a moment. Saturday morning, the focus is on the little ones, a children's costume parade where all children are encouraged to come in their best Roaring Twenties attire, followed by Tunes and Tunes, classic cartoons with the organ providing the musical background. Everything winds up Saturday evening with San Diego Spotlight that will feature several local performing arts groups. Making the Balboa more accessible to San Diego's many arts organizations is a priority, so from tonight through Saturday, all of the money from ticket sales will go to the Balboa Theater Grant Fund. Which offers to subsidize partially or fully local arts nonprofits here in San Diego to ensure that they can use our space so that they can really focus on their art and being on stage. And we can do the background work, right? Operations, ensuring that labor costs are covered and things like that. <laughs> A big part of this weekend's festivities is what you're hearing now. That is the sound of one of the finest theater pipe organs left in the United States. Originally built for one of the Lowe's Grand Theaters in and around New York City, the Wonder Morton Pipe Organ made its way to the Balboa in 2009. It will be played on Friday and Saturday by visiting theater organist Ken Double. This is a fabulous pipe organ. The Morton Company understood this would be their signature instrument. The organ is a marvel of early 20th century engineering. One of the people who plays it, helps to maintain it, and knows it best is Russ Peck. This complement of pipework is, in my mind, one of the greatest designs then and now. We talked to Peck up in what's called the Foundation Chamber. High above the stage, it's where the hundreds of pipes and other instruments live. Whether he's up here fixing this or adjusting that, Peck is in his happy place. It's so special. And, the, um, and it makes me feel really happy just being around it. That's how it makes me feel. Back downstairs with Ken Double at the console, and he's treating us to a preview of the special theme music he wrote to accompany the flying fleet. Our job is to enhance the movie, to make the music affect the film without getting in the way of the film. We're, we're the best thing, the best compliment we ever get. Oh my God, I forgot you were even there. We know we've done our job if that's what we hear from the audience. All of this, the organ, the theater in its newly refreshed state, this weekend's big celebration almost didn't happen because in 1959, the theater was slated for demolition. It was to make way for 
a parking lot. But the Russo family bought it and kept it as a movie theater for the next couple of decades. The city bought it in 1985, but it wasn't until 2005 that a major $26.5 million renovation took place, including earthquake retrofitting. It reopened in 2008 when San Diego theaters took over operation. As the Balboa Theater becomes a centenarian, it is definitely time to celebrate its big birthday. But it's also a time to reflect on how incredibly fortunate, how lucky we all are that this gem of San Diego is still here 100 years later. From the Balboa Theater, John Carroll, KPBS News.